All right, let's try a little experiment. It is about noon, uh, Tuesday, February 13. And you see, I got some of that nasty, really fibrous green hair algae. I'm not sure what it is. If anybody knows, chime in. I've tried some of that uh, brown bottle stuff that I've seen gone through, uh, I think both Facebook and Instagram. It doesn't work for me. Uh, it may work for you, yay. But what I'm gonna do, because I've heard this works and it seems to work, because one thing I do is when I've got plants that are infested with that algae, I will put them in about a gallon of water and put about an ounce of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and then I'll, I'll keep doing that. I've got an air stone in there and I'll add about an ounce of hydrogen peroxide a week. But this is obviously in a big tank. This is a 40 gallon breeder. And there's a chunk of this stuff here. So what I've got these pipettes and I think they're about three mils. So I'm gonna put a couple squirts right on that. So stick the pipette in, fill it. I think that's about three mils. And I'm just gonna drop it all the way down and I'll just squirt this and you can see it foaming right in that algae. So I think we'll let it go at one and we will do a fall. Well, there's that piece hanging out. I'm gonna nail that because anything worth doing is worth overdoing, right? So we'll get that piece hanging out there too. Well, it seems to be maybe more effective where it's actually attached to something. So we'll come back um, and we'll see how that works. So here we are Friday, three days later. Um, it's a little later in the day. I think it was about 11, quarter after 11 when I shot this and put the hydrogen peroxide on this. And if you recall, it was right about there and it's gone. So that nasty, uh, really fibrous green hair algae does not like hydrogen peroxide. There's Bob, there's Carol. So anyway, I think that works. I tried it in another tank in the house. I will go see how that worked out. 